says I'll do that for you. Coronation Street, P694, stroke 1011, part one, take yeah. one. Okay, very quiet now then, please, we are recording. Yes. <laughs> we'll be sorry to see you go. Yeah. Mm. Ten seconds. Caddy's head. What do they sound like? <laughs> what do people sound like? They sound like perfectly decent folk. Look, you don't need to go mad, you know. They're coming to see a shop, not a palace. One place, righty folk, they're coming to look. they like it, they'll buy it. Yeah, and if it's a tip, they'll not like it. This place is never a tip. You're getting neurotic. See, will you shut up and get some of that dust off them tins? Do you know them artichoke carts? They haven't shifted in months. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have got so many in. Yeah, Annie Walker made me get them. She bought one tin. Uh, oh, my God, don't say that It's you. only Kenneth. Oh. Hello, oh. sorry to bother you. You're all right. Yeah. you. What do you want? Uh, a couple of apples of plonk. Oh, you best help yourself. Right. Looking lively, then, is it? Uh, well, it's convivial, if not exactly feverish. <laughs> You're not coming along? No, uh, we've got somebody coming looking round. Oh, yeah, promising. Oh, well, no one has been. A bit of interest, you know. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, look, um, just pay me for one. The other's on us. Oh, that's very decent of you. And give them our best wishes and what's it called? Uh, felicitation. Yes, I right? will. Oh, well. We'll be sorry to see you go. Ah, well, let's hope we're doing the right thing. Oh, I think we're doing the right thing in my mind. Mind you, we'll be sorry to leave one or two people, you know, but still. It's a question of what you want out of life, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's a question I've never quite answered myself. Well, it took me an half long enough, didn't it? I'll tell you what I want out of life. A bit of peace and quiet. That's all I want. Ooh, why you want to smoke when you're in there, I don't know. I'm reading the paper. Well, there's a perfectly good house for reading the paper in. Why can't you sit in that like a civilised person? I want a bit of peace and quiet. Now, belt up. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, just look at these plants. I don't know. You struggle to try and bring some green and living into the world, and what chance have you got? Even this begonia's letting me down. Thought at least that would have had a try for me, but look at it. Just giving up. I don't know why you bother. Because they give me a bit of company, that's why. Which is more than I can say for some people, what shut themselves in the lavvy reading last week's paper. <laughs> Fat lot of company, some people. Let's go to Emily Bishop. No, no, I'm not going down there. Well, wish him well. Might be a few drinks. Luke, I'm not going where I'm not invited. If we're not good enough, we're not good enough. They think they're a cut above us, you know. Ian, hey, have you set fire to yourself in there, or what? I'm smoking, aren't I? Well, there's somebody burning rubbish, then. Mind you, I suppose she is a cut above in a way, isn't she? Wealthy woman in her own right. Must have got thousands for earnest. Yeah, and I don't suppose that's escaped his attention either, the queer fella. Plain as the nose on your face. Oh, you know, there's definitely somebody burning rubbish. Ladies and gentlemen, Emily and Arnold. Emily, Emily. Emily and Arnold. Come on, give us a seat. Yes, me. So I'm not Emily, going to on. make a speech. I'm not sure I could anyway. Oh. I feel rather light in the head. Oh, Emily, <laughs> off two glasses. No, honestly. Oh, yeah. Listen, is when I've had a drink that I do make speeches. You ask Len. I'll come out with a couple of scotch and <laughs> have a drink or two. <laughs> well, before I get hopelessly tiddly, I would just like to make a tiny little speech. Oh, oh, my <laughs> Speaking as, I think I can say, one of Emily's oldest friends. I think I can give you a few years, dear. <laughs> well, we have known each other for a very long time. Well, it is a long time, Emily. <laughs> didn't it fly? <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to say that we're all very happy for you to see you so happy and everything. And uh, well, it's just wonderful that you've actually found somebody. I 
after all you've been through. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think it's only fair on to give you a word of warning, mm -hmm. because you ought to know that Emily has got a lot of friends, yeah, and, yes, um, yes. well, we're very true friends, and we think very highly of you, Emily, yeah. so... Uh, well, you'd better look after her, or else. <laughs> 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 um, now, I just want to uh, say that I hope you'll both be very happy together, and, and I'm sure you will be. Um, I think that's all I want to say. Oh, well, so, uh, <coughs> here's to your future health and happiness. Yeah. Health, yeah. health and, and happiness. happiness. And I second everything she says, and I'm bigger than her. <laughs> <laughs> very nicely said, maybe. Yes. Well, you oh, are lucky. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Um, I can't let that one go on, can I? And seeing as uh, my fiance, oh, I like the sound of that. I'll say that again. Uh, my fiance, seeing that she's a little emotional, I suppose it must be up to me. And none of you know me from Adam. But I'll say this: I can't be all that bad, or I wouldn't be stood here calling Emily my fiance. <laughs> Just wouldn't have anything to do with me. And the only danger is that I might get a bit big-headed on the strength of it. <laughs> Still, as time goes on, I hope that Emily's friends are going to be my friends, because I know she's very well-loved around here. And you needn't fret. She'll continue to be very well-loved in my care in the future days to come. Oh, isn't lovely? So I'll give you one toast. Emily. Emily! Emily, very good. Oh, Oh, right, well, just in case anybody else has got any more toast, I better fill everybody up. <laughs> That's what I do. Smash it. Here we Did are. Did you expect oh, this, then? Well, I, I'm very happy for them both. Yeah. Well, I mean, it'll take a bit of them getting used to it. You, I mean, yourself. Yes, I, I suppose I'll have to make some adjustments. Yes. Where are you thinking of living? Well, that's one of the adjustments. They've uh, not said anything as far as that, or if they have, they've said nothing to me about it yet. Oh, well, they'll be spoilt for choice, won't they? I mean, with them both having their own place. Rather a nice position to be in. Very. Yeah. Yes. Cheers. All right, well, who's been avoiding who, then? Well, I haven't been avoiding anybody. Oh, must have been me. Well, there's no need. I'd like to think not. Well, there's no point, is there? I mean, if you've got something to say and you don't want to say it, then you start avoiding people. Ken! Yeah. Oh. Have you got a mixer, yeah. please? Excuse me. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, you. Thank you. Not for me, thanks for sticking to orange juice. Oh, very wise. Thanks very much. Very wise. Uh, but I thought you got a house all lined up. Well, we put a deposit on. <coughs> yeah, then. Yeah, but can we afford it? I'll have to start work now, and it looks like we can't. Well, you put up a bit of a fight, kid. You need a home of your own. I know what I'm talking about. I think it's impossible, really, but we keep putting off saying we definitely can't have it. Hey, come on, let's have some music. What records have we well, got? Well, I'm looking for something. Hey, there's one that I brought somewhere there. Congratulations. Oh, oh. oh ah, there it is, yeah. yeah. Go on, stick it on. A little bit. It's on there somewhere. It's on track four, kid. Yeah, well, everybody will know the words of that, Rita. And if they don't, we can both skip. Well, I bought it, you know, when Gordon passed his accountancy. But as it happens, we didn't have a party. Oh, there you are. Hey, it's not like that. Hey, there's no sugar for me tea. Just listen to it. Have a good mind to call the police. No sugar. Well, it'll do you good to go without. I can't drink tea without sugar. You know I can't. Oh, well, go next door and get some, then. That'll be short. Give them a knock, they'll open up for you. Look, you nip to Elsie's, she'll have some. Oh, can't you see I'm busy? Won't take you long. Oh, Stanley, can you do nothing for yourself? All right, I'll go. If I play my cards right, I might get more than a cup of sugar. <laughs> If not, back by morning. Don't come looking. Oh, you're disgusting, you. Here, give me that here. I'll go when I finish the into these. 